Today, we've got a quick and handy video for those of you who, like me, recently got the NS Ports SX3 gaming cabinet from Amazon and faced a bit of a hiccup with the RGB setup. So, let's dive right into the easy fix for the no RGB header situation. The first solution involves a little hack with the reset switch. Now, I don't have the technical name for this slot, but you'll find it on the cabinet. Just follow along with what I'm doing in the video. Instead of plugging your reset switch into the motherboard, plug it into the slot on the cabinet itself. This clever trick will power up the RGB lights in the cabinet, creating a dazzling display. However, there's a catch this will only light up the cabinet, not the fan. To get the fan spinning in all its RGB glory, you'll need a little extra help. I found this handy solution on Amazon. It's called the Computer Case Fan Y Splitter Power. Connector Adapter Cable. It's a mouthful, but it does the job perfectly. I'll leave a link in the description, so be sure to check it out. It costs only 200 rupees, and trust me, it's worth every penny. Once you get your hands on the Y splitter cable, here's how it works. Apply the cable to the SIS fan port on your motherboard, plug in your RGB fan, and voila, problem solved. This cable acts as a bridge, connecting your fan to the motherboard without the need for an ARGB header. And there you have it, folks. A quick and easy fix for the NOAA GB header issue with the NSports SX3 gaming cabinet. If you're facing the same challenge, don't worry, just follow these steps, and you'll have your RGB setup shining bright in no time. 